ho 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 and welcome to to a to a Christ, christmas special of draw toys um as you can tell from the description this is our fourth episode now i want to say of draw toys the podcast series where we try to draw things in various months of times i'll explain the rules in a second but first before we begin i am joined by three guests uh, as usual we have dan hello we have Tim. Hello. And we have Tom. All right. Hey, there we are. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> nice. Um, so, what's going on? This is uh, th- this is just Tom's side gig whilst he's doing something more important. Uh, so yeah. So today uh, it's it's been a while to be honest. Unfortunately, there was some unforeseen delays and stuff. Uh, and to be honest, I did kind of forget about this for a few weeks. But I thought, hey, it's it's Christmas. We are recording uh, on the 19th of December. It should go up before Christmas, fingers crossed. If not, I am sorry. Uh, but, you know, that's... that's but he thing. doesn't owe you anything. Not really. No. 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 Uh, so, yeah. So today, as with our other specials that we've done for the Halloween one and the November one, uh, I have a bit of a theme. Now, this time, however, I have, I've narrowed it down a little bit. So we've only got five things five possibilities of subjects to draw from before we go into the subjects i'm going to quickly explain the rules so that is we will be given a picture or rather i'll give us a picture uh for us to draw and then we will have 30 seconds two minutes and then 10 minutes in order to draw that image um it doesn't have to be exactly accurate but it, it does have to be that character uh, and especially with the 10 minute one we can you know freestyle it go as we like so as i've mentioned obviously this is all christmas themed so i can't remember who went first last time so who would like to choose a number between one and five me okay dan has uh, he he's put himself forward so daniel on a well, not a scale out of one to five which number would you like to pick? Number two. Number two. That's how we should do it next time. You should ask one of us a question like, on a scale of one to ten, how are you feeling today? <laughs> and that would be the number that you pick. Just, uh, just, a, just a thought. That would be smart. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Dan, uh, you could have picked any other number, but you picked that one, didn't you? Number two. Well, so Dan has chosen number two, so I will share on screen the same moment that it shares on our call. This is our image. So this, uh, in case you guys at home or people in the call even don't recognise this, this is Jack Frost from the Shin Megami Tensei series, uh, also in Persona, obviously, because it's a spin-off. Uh, and he is well known for his catchphrase. Hee ho! So, we are now going to boot up some drawing um, apps. And we are going to try and recreate Jack Frost as best we can in 30 seconds, 2 minutes, and then 10 minutes. We'll see you guys in 12 and a half minutes. All right, we are back. We have spent all that time drawing Jack Frost from the Shin Megami Tensei series. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all of these. Uh, obviously, the tie with Christmas is he's an ice elemental monster, I do believe. Uh, so let's jump straight into this festivity of weird creatures to draw. I shall go first, as usual. So, this is my 30 seconds attempt, which I call Dreams into Jack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I can see why you called it that. Uh, You know, it's... It almost looks like, you know, some people do those minimalist desktop backgrounds for characters? Yeah. That's what I'm getting from this. But it's not for Jack Frost, it's for Knights into Dreams. Yeah, it's... The head looks decently like Knights, so... Yeah. Also, it, uh, if if you if it was coloured in all black, I could see that as being a um a shadow heartless. That was a that was an interesting thirty seconds. Uh, obviously, I was going to try and just dye his head purple, but uh, right. So my two minutes one, I would call Howdy Ho. Oh 
He seems cheerful. That's yeah. That there is nothing wrong with that. I would be able to tell that was Jack Frost. It's yeah. cute. He looks like he's waving. He's saying, "How howdy ho." No, that's not it. Is. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like uh, uh, the yeah. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, ignore that. Yes. <laughs> that's, uh... Same person. Same entity. Yeah. I mean, that's mildly what I was going for, I guess. But yeah, that that was. I mean, thankfully, he's got. He's got basic details that are easy enough that like you could you could easily do it in for yeah. like, two minutes. Uh and my final one, uh I call the Ice Winged Angel. So <laughs> So this one is a bit of a mashup. Uh and it's going to horribly date the podcast, I think. But um I basically I finished drawing Jack Frost with something like four minutes to go. Um, and I was just thinking, like, okay, what could he be held then? It's like he'd have to hold something backwards. Uh, I've been playing quite a bit of Sephiroth on Super Smash Bros. today. Oh, really? Oh, so, uh, <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. Right, I've got four minutes. I can draw a simple one wing and a long katana. Um, unfortunately, time went, got away with me. I was going to try and maybe draw flames in the background and like mm. you know, I would say it does it does look more like a cape than the wind, but yes. I love the I love uh, the uh uh Saffros signature so Yeah, it's um... it's so long it goes beyond the page. Exactly. It's uh, yeah, I, I just thought, well, it's a bit of a mashup. I couldn't think i literally couldn't think of anything else to draw so that is he's looking a bit tubby admittedly he's a bit tubbier than he should be but you know tubby, tubby. it's like it's like you know shirtless sephiroth you know whoa shirtless sephiroth oh. is not tubby he is ripped yeah, yeah. Ripped. Yeah. Hey, uh, red, yep. red. Yes. tom let's keep it pg That's, yeah <laughs> well i don't want this demonetized on youtube uh, <laughs> Talking of keeping it PG, I was uh, listening to someone earlier just trying to figure out who from Final Fantasy VII had canonically had sex, and obviously it's, it's implied that Cloud and Tifa did, but not really. Barrett probably must have to get Marlene, or no, he didn't actually, because um, he adopted Marlene. And then somebody said, Sephiroth isn't confirmed to have sex, <laughs> but he is confirmed to have penetrated someone. <laughs> oh, 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 savage! Too Please soon. Please tell me that's staying in. <laughs> yeah, of, of course. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, who's going next? Uh, I'll, I'll I'll go next. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So my first one, I like to call simply Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that almost looks like it. Wait, that looks almost like a sort of uh, a kid's version of like an evolution that they drew from Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, mm. I can see that the uh, the new ghost type evolution. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that he he looks like a very happy boy though. That's for thirty seconds. That's quite detailed, mind. Thank you. Obviously, it's I have the bad. same problem as you with the film. Uh, I mean, yes. it, I will say it does look like one of the um, uh. F- Transformations from John Carpenter's The Thin, like when the head comes off. Jesus Christ. Harsh, uh... harsh critique. A little bit. I'll take it. I'll take it. But, but no, I like his smiley face. So the second one I call Jack White. Ah, nice. Hey. Yeah, I'm liking that, um, <laughs> you know, like you've drawn the purple bits in purple outline, which is like, it's quite a, it's quite a nice touch. I like it. Passable, I'd say. I don't have any huge regrets for that one. Yeah. Um, and the last one I call Jack Black. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Oh, actually, yeah. Oh, yo, I'm really liking the swirly eye. Yeah. Uh, the, the swirly yeah. like face thing is. That's pretty it, cool. That's what gnarly. What tools for that? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be experimental and just use one of the brushes that isn't the normal brushes Ooh. and i was like well this 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 is the creation this is staying well i like it i like it I um like it. yeah honestly yeah it's sort of I, I could see this like being a kind of like i don't know like a draw a draw a fan art of like your favorite persona character or whatever and like yeah <laughs> you mean literally what this is <laughs> 
Well, uh, yeah, but sort of like as as like an official, you know, kind of like okay. competition run by Atlas. Yeah, like, okay. I like this one. I like it. Yeah, hey. digging it. Mm. Uh, I'll go next then. Oh, uh, should we go? Okay, so let me bring up the first one. So this one I call Jocko Frosto. <laughs> Ooh, okay. It looks like it's calling out for help. That, going back to the Pokemon thing, it looks a little bit like a cross between a Snorlax and a Magmar. But well, but neither of I them mean, are meant to breed, and that I is mean, the result. Snor- I do like Snorlax, so... He's, he's, he's a chunky boy, fair play. He's... <laughs> he's been in purgatory for a while. <laughs> I'm not sure he's... He's been found wanting. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, I'm not sure he's a happy boy, but, uh, you know... Jesus. Okay, this one I call Jock Frostu. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I, I can really see the evolution from the first one to the second one. Yeah, I, I you've, see... you've had more time. Uh, the, the bells and stuff is like Jester's Lost thing. A bit of weight. <laughs> yeah, and I like the, the face. So the face is the constant thing I've noticed. Like, we've all managed to do quite a good face. He's got a nice, uh, a cute, simple face. Mm. The old Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like it. I like it. Okay. Um. Let me find the last one. Oh, oh he's secretly making additions, guys. Uh, Cancelled. Uh, no, no. Uh, no. This one is called Frosty Jack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Wow. I am the Senate. That's. I am the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Emperor Frosty. I'm really yeah. liking that. That's like I, I like the yeah. the sheeting with the graffiti tool. Like, yeah, it kind of yeah. adds something to it. It's hard to explain, but it looks a bit like um. Well, what? I was gonna add more, but it looked like too much like Palpatine. So <laughs> he looks very know. power hungry. Like he, he needs to be stopped. Like, the like thing a... is, I don't know this character from Shin. Megami Tensei, you said. Yeah, they're basically. I mean, most most of my experience with it were came from the Shin Megami Tensei MMO they launched it like twenty ten something. For a place like for a, a while. He's like yeah. a chocobo of, of Shin Megami. Yeah, Tensei. he's kind yeah. of a bit of a mascot, like oh. enemy. It's it's he's your standard ice based enemy that like so, appears be- early on. So, because I didn't really know much about him, I was trying to start... My usual route is just to be as creative as possible, so... I just thought... <laughs> wow, I'll to your own him. home. Yeah. Yeah, I- I'm it's digging it, then. person here, and, and no one can argue with that. Hey, no. I've won a couple of creative awards. You certainly have. You have. Can't take that away from you. So this leaves, I believe, Tom as our last contributor to the Jack Frost round. Tom, would you okay. like to... The first one is called Impmon. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. It looks like a bootleg Pokemon figure. Yeah, very. That is. Uh, I mean, if you give me long enough. It looks a little enough, bit like Impmon. Yeah. I like, how, I, I like how we're just saying the one thing we all get right is the face, and then Tom posts this. I, I kind of see what you mean with Impmon, Tom. The, yeah, the ears and the head shape are like. They're they're pretty Yimpmon esque, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like it. I that. wouldn't worry about him because he's armless. Uh... I don't. Sorry. Okay. So the second one is called Floaty Face. Oh. Oh, I like that. God damn! Yeah. Two minutes, Tom. Two. Wow. Impressive. Okay. That. That's really good. Yeah. Mm, I... Yeah. No, I'm I mean, I'm really digging that for two minutes. I mean, like I know technically you don't have like the body and stuff, but that just yeah, that, that's really good. Genuinely he impressed. Looks like there. he's sitting on the table opposite you in the pub, and he just leaned over to say something to you, like, "Yeah, you do talking shit." <laughs> yeah, but... yeah, you don't want to mess with him in a pub. Very nice. The last one is called the one-armed Michelin Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, that's not, it's not as bad as I was expecting from your... Uh... I like how the, the colour scheme has changed from purple to <laughs> blue. Um, um, well... To hey, to you, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean... Exactly, it's your, it's your interpretation 
of Jack oh, Frost. Yeah. And I think that's, that's true. Yeah, mm. those. You know what? That was a fun round. I think Jack Frost is the perfect level between like simple and complex designs, and that like it's got a lot going on. But I mean, well, you know, as we've all proven with our two minute things, you can kind of all tell this Jack Frost. Mm. I, I, yeah, I'd be able to tell from most some of these drawings. <laughs> yes. Uh, right, cool. Well, that wraps up the Jack Frost segment. So, we have one more image to go. So, I've eliminated Jack Frost in the lineup. Now there are four left. So, who would like to choose a number? Go on, Tom. Uh, number four. All right. So, I'm about to post this. I'll post it up on screen at the same time. This is who we will be drawing next. Oh, oh my god. god. This is uh Tim. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tim, would you like to introduce this one? So, this is Shiva. <laughs> and I believe this is the Final Fantasy 10 iteration of Shiva. This is where she's indeed. not wearing many clothes. Uh, uh she's got some some icy powers, so I can see why you picked her. Uh, <laughs> That's a hard one. <laughs> that is so, a hard one. Yeah, so th- this one I was like, well, this is going to be the like the one really difficult one. I don't even know if we'll get to it. And we did in the end. So I'm glad. I'm very glad. I, I, Final Fantasy X is my favourite game ever. So I feel like this is slightly biased. But also, um, she's got a very human-like shape, which I know is like an obvious thing to say. Mm. But that's going to be hard. Yeah, th- oh, this cause... this she is a complex character to draw. I think there's going to be some uh, some creative licenses taken here. Very <laughs> um, right. Utter chaos. We are going to head off then for twelve and a half minutes to do our drawings, and we shall catch you guys in a minute. All right, we we are back. We we have been on a journey. Uh, I think we all re- <laughs> we all regret that, but regardless, it is now time for us to post our masterpieces of Shiva from Final Fantasy X. Uh, so as usual, I shall go first. Um, so I think I speak for all of us here in saying it's quite a difficult one. This one, it's a, it's a little bit trickier than Jack Frost. So this one I call <laughs> Speedy Shiva. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is that. That's, that oh. is straight up just female Sonic. Yeah, she is. She's gotta go fast. <laughs> she's moving so fast. <laughs> her arm has turned into you a look, blade. If you look at it right, it kind of looks like your arm is her nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Aye, so aye, yeah, aye. so I I didn't know what I was doing there. I went for like the body shape, and that's it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not one. <laughs> I don't think anyone could draw that in thirty seconds. So, I think that was I think that was pretty good, all things considered. So next one I call Shiva, as featured in Adventure Time. Oh yeah, that's... yeah, that is yeah. I like that. That is very adventure time, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's sort of like, oh, she's an ice elemental and stuff. Obviously, I didn't have time to, you know, drop the lines and stuff, so everything's purple. But yeah, I I think uh, it it's kind of, it, it's all right. I wouldn't say with Shiva, personally. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> it might be in my top ten guesses. There you are. Well, that's one thing. Uh, my third one... So my third one, I uh, I spent a while with the face, and I regret. So I call this one Shiva's Regret. Oh, I, got, I quite like that. She looks happy. Yeah. She's like, oh, what are you guys going on? Yeah, I, I redrew her face over three different times. I, was like, I right. really like the yeah. detail on the the hairdo. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I went for that, basically. Yeah, uh, I had to redraw her body a few times because she was she was a wide, she was a wide <laughs> lady at one point. But uh, oh. but you know, it's, yeah. Uh, oh. I I at a, at a push, I I guess some people could say that was Shiva. Oh no, that one I'd get. That one I'd get straight away. I'd okay. say that's Shiva. Okay, cool. Um, I can okay. 
It's like on Max. Yes. Uh, oh, throughout the entire thing, all I could hear from everyone was like, "Oh God, oh, oof." So it's it's gonna it's gonna be great, whatever comes out. I think. Okay. First one is called Tubular Hair. What's happened to her foot? She is funky. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> God. Has she got gout or something? Yeah, I don't know. She looks like she's seen her girlfriend in the distance and she's like, hey, girl, what's up? Let's go shopping. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Fucking club foot. You guys won't believe where I saw the ball today. Oh, my God. (laughs) The second one's called I'm Blue Dabba Deba Time. Okay. Oh my god, it does actually look like them. It does look like them. That. Oh my god. It looks. It looks like a blue person cosplaying as a palm tree. Yeah. It also a little bit like blue sideshow Bob. What's yeah. that blue man group? Oh, the blue man group. <laughs> what are they up to now? This yeah. Is them now feel old yet. <laughs> Okay, so the last one I am sorry for, but it's called Potential Blast for me. Oh dear. Why would you be sorry? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh god, no! Well, no. I mean... <laughs> no. Well... The snake! The snake! Oh, the snake was the last minute edition. I mean, you're not incorrect, I suppose. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. Although, I will say, the sash is slightly confusing, because it makes it look like a caveman. Yeah, I was literally <laughs> thinking the same thing. Yeah. Oh. Back in the Stone Age. Oh, Jesus I'm sorry. I am, I'm sorry for our viewers. <laughs> well, you should be. I like a middle finger. Like I know the middle finger. Uh, is, come on. Uh, his. Uh, no, his. His. Is, that's right. Sorry. Tom's mixed shivers. I. Uh, I mean, I'm not yeah. being funny, Dan. But uh, if it was a female, I think those nipples would be very anti YouTube policy. So. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Guys. It's fine. That's true. I'm liking her hand. Uh, it is his. Jesus okay. Christ! Dan's got me referring to it as a her now. I'm liking the hand on the the, the left Although one. Although it does kind of look like the, the left hand looks like it's facing the wrong way and she's just flipping every fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. Fuck um, you, you I prick. did that. No, genuinely, <laughs> Hinduism is fascinating. Oh, it's God. Here we go. To that route. Tom's apology. <laughs> Tom, didn't you say that some of your best friends are Hindu? Oh, God. Shut up. <laughs> No. Uh. Yes. No. That's. Uh, see. I. I appreciate that because you were given a very difficult task and you ran with it and was just like I'll just draw Shiva and you did. Uh, okay. I'll. Uh, I'll go next. So this one I will call. Shovo. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Wow. Well, that's. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that is a drawing that like a child would give to a teacher and they'd be like, I'm gonna call your parents in. Uh, just... <laughs> I am the uh, the therapist. That I mean, I I I get what you're going for. It, it kind of looks like uh, Blob Shiva is unleashing the universe from its forehead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can you say? What can you say? So after that, uh, my next one is called Shaba. <laughs> oh my lord! Okay. Oh god, it's that's like, um, it's like a child has um. Coloured in their Cynthia doll from the front rats in purple. So it it also the colour reminds me of um uh so I, I haven't played it very much, but I'm aware of there's a character in League of Legends called Jinx who has a similar yeah. colour so, um, combination. I don't mean to be to be rude to your interpretation of Sheba, but <laughs> her, her her boobs are very saggy. They they like, are very. Um, she's, she's, she's got some grandma boobs. 
Yeah, also, she looks like she's handing out candy. <laughs> Can you put a blur over this? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to have to pixelate that out. I'm afraid, Dan, because um, uh, highly detailed areola are not allowed on YouTube. <laughs> so. I. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the colour scheme reminded me of a uh, certain project melody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Project melody. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she's a saggy lady. I mean, yeah, that's that's a bit of a harsh comparison, to be honest, Tom. <laughs> Big up the science team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we have the final... Uh, rendition of Shiva, and I call this Shiva the Ride. Feel the euphoria. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh I like it. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Good. Okay. Oliver like went there. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. She's looking like she's using the same powers as your Jack Frost. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they're from the same universe. Yeah, uh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, that's. Well, they are. They're uh... both in smash that's really something. dynamic dan that's really cool i enjoy that um i enjoy the, the detail of the neck bone is like oh, jesus christ yeah, yeah. collarbone Crazy. detail is uh quite impressive yeah she looks like she would um fuck you up yeah, yeah. honestly that's really cool well done dan jesus christ this <laughs> 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 if you don't look at it right, it does look like it's a puddle of urine. <laughs> and she was, uh... and she, well, she is not happy with whoever left that there, and she's going to sort it herself. You know, after a boob sag, she just <laughs> she became incontinent, okay? She, yeah, she is they... looking a little bit like a Dragon Ball Z character as well. Which I, which I really like, you know? I... I'd yeah. watch that. Yeah, absolutely. When, well done, Dan. I'm really, really oh. impressed. Thank you. Right, um, I will I will finish this off. Uh, so the first one I'd like to call um, Vanilla Ice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, Shiva uh, Angi. Yeah, she's not happy, and she's going to let you know about it. It's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I have no further comments. <laughs> I I'm not going to sit here and defend her. That, it's very is, good, uh, Tim. Thank you. Are you going to put it on the fridge? I am. Okay, so the second one I call uh, the Abominable Snow Woman. Okay. What fucking hell? She hench. Yo. She got pets. <laughs> she, is, she is really... Really worked out there. That is. Uh... She's like, I feel like come at she, me, bro. She needs to uh, fight my character. You know, you, like... know, <laughs> you know, like um, you know those like uh press things in the gym where like you you uh lift two bars down and it's like meant for your shoulders. Yeah. It like it looks like she <laughs> exclusively used that and nothing else in the gym. So <laughs> arms are like really thin and skinny and rest. Okay. <laughs> like okay. the neck okay. and shoulders. Muscles. Like the neck and shoulders are, are capable of like carrying a full grown adult with like <laughs> with no difficulty. <laughs> what you need now is like Duel of Fates played in the background and switching between Dan's and yours. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's amazing. Christ. Okay, uh, the last one I like to call Hot Sexy Milfs Near You in Macalania. Oh. 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 Oh, I mean, uh, if, if she is in the area, I'd. Uh... I'd, I'd go Sorry. with coffee or oh, iced coffee. Hey. <laughs> it's uh, very abstract. Like if you like squint your eyes. <laughs> also, she's got like a peacock tail going on. Yeah, I I quite I quite like the uh, the the little kind of like multicolored uh, kind of skirt thing she's got going on. Yeah. Thank you. I Thank I you, I, I really like that. I I quite like the sort of I don't know if it was intentional or whatever, but like. The little white highlights that kind of like add light to the body, if that makes sense. It's like the opposite oh, of a yeah. shadow. It's it's really cool. Thank you. I appreciate you... that. Yeah, yeah, it's um it's a, it's a good. 
Oh wow, yeah. that's the highest rating you can get yeah, from that. That's it's, the basic. Yeah, wow. so there we are. I, I'll give uh... you a phone number afterwards then. Yeah. I'll, I mean, admittedly, it'll involve uh, getting in touch with another girl first to call her down, but, you know. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> what are you insinuating? Y- oh Una. Oh, my God. C- calling Una to summon her. To oh, a... yeah. Okay. To... okay. Need a, need a <laughs> summoner. <laughs> wow. My mind went in a completely different direction. Oh. oh. Wow. Right, All let's right. not talk about that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so before we do get on to a bit of talking, uh, first of all, because we almost forgot it last episode, we are going to give those three awards. Oh, yes. Uh, so we've got three different awards to give. Uh, so the first one up is Most Creative. So this is the one that, you know, took the source material and really ran with it. So... We'll all have a quick look over all the submissions and we'll come to a conclusion and agreement. So uh, so my most creative award is going to go to Tom Shiva. Okay, I, my one is going to go to Dan's Jack Frost. My one's going to go to Tim's Jack Frost. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i going to say uh, Tim's uh, Christmas one. Wow. Christmas. Wow, okay. The, so cool. Tim's Jack Frost won. Well done, Tim. That... Why do you sound so surprised? Well done, Tim. (laughs) Very good. Jesus! Where is this hostility coming from? I'd I'd put it on the fridge. Actually, I do have a fridge, but I don't have a printer, so... I'll send you a uh, a printout. Okay, thanks. Send Uh, you an 8x4. Yeah. Right, next up is Most Improved. So this one is... Look at the very first image and the last image, and which do you think has gone from being pretty abysmal to really quite good? Uh, we'll take a look and we'll come to a conclusion. Yeah, I'm going to give that one to Dan Shiva for sure. Yeah, Dan Shiva. Uh, I also agree, actually, because, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, um... the, the final result genuinely looks like it was drawn by a different person. Like it's, uh, it's... What's it, Dan? Have you got someone on standby? Well, uh, I would say t- uh, Tim's, so, but uh, no, thank you. Thank you all. Right, and the final award is the You Tried Award. The award where, you know, the an attempt was made. Uh, so, yet again, we'll take a look and we'll come back. Yeah, I know who I'm going I know that one as well. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's Tom's. It's Tom's rendition of um, Shiva. It's... Oh, oh, I was gonna say Tom's Jack Frost. My Shiva is fucking fantastic. Yeah, you know? Tom Shiva is, mm. you know, yeah. he's gone creative with it. I think Tom's Jack Frost is if the you tried award for sure. Yes, I, I'm. Okay. I'm also gonna go with Tom's Jack Frost. Um, although. To be honest, this award is difficult because, like, none of them have been bad, per se. Oh, mm. yeah. I think it's just that Tom's obviously is missing an arm and stuff. Yeah. But really, that that's a bit of a nitpick, to be honest. The You Tried Award is... A li- to be fair, I guess we could just award the You Tried Awards to just times when one is a massive car crash of a result. Like Fat Isabel. Yeah. Yeah, basically. It, it could be reserved, maybe, for uh, for when when it's needed, I think. Uh, so, I know. So, I'll tell you what, I rescind that, because I don't think there's any of them that have really deserved the You Tried award this time. Wow. A first in Draw Toys history. Indeed. We're breaking new grounds. Uh, and talking about breaking new grounds, uh, we're going to end the podcast with a little bit of a discussion, but... I'm going to focus it a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to give us all time to really ponder over this for a minute. But I have one question for you guys that is in keeping with our Halloween special. What is your favourite Christmas movie? Mm. So ha- ha- have a think. Like, you know, just t- take your time. There's there's no rush with it. Right, okay, cool. We've we've had a bit of a think then. Uh, I, I'll go first i'm going to posit that my very favorite christmas film and one i'm probably gonna watch tomorrow actually uh 
or maybe as a back-to-back -back double feature, is Gremlins. Uh, I, I really, I really love Gremlins. Uh, da, 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 da. It's just, it's so, it's you know, like there's a, there's a lot of franchises in the eighties that kind of like oh peak eighties and stuff, but like Gremlins, I think is really up there. It's, it's so like it, it's got everything going for it. It's quite funny. It's really strange. Uh, the Mogwai. It's got a particular charm to it, hasn't it, Gremlins? Yeah, yeah. it's uh, and you know it, it is. It's quite Christmassy, but it's not like it's not overly generically Christmassy. But sort of Christmas does play a part in it and everything. Yeah, we'll see. The thing, <laughs> the thing that messed me up a little bit about Gremlins when I first watched it is that it's this wacky movie and there's these little creatures that come to life and it's all very you know wacky and crazy and weird and then halfway through he has that really deep conversation with the girl and she's like yeah my dad dressed up as Santa Claus came to oh. the chimney and got stuck and died yes it was a complete one eighty. like what the hell that messed me up as a kid I was like oh. I mean I didn't realise until after my, my parents did show me that movie way too soon I was like 10 yeah <laughs> well, well but, but Jesus that is like a it, oh. <laughs> it was actually like rated uh wasn't it like a 15 or something it was because uh the first time i ever watched gremlins uh was with a neighbor who'd seen it already and wanted to watch it um and brought it over my house because we lived very close by um and i was unsure because the video was marked 15 and being a good boy because i was i think 10 at the time if that i <laughs> i went to check with my parents who both can the both their reaction was like, how is Gremlins a fifteen? Obviously, on on reflection, I mean, I think the certification that was dropped, either twelve or a PG, uh, which admittedly the ratings are going to be different if they're in the US and listening. Uh, mm. It's I I don't exactly know you guys is uh, rating, but yeah, it's it definitely dropped from a fifteen to like a considerably smaller you know sort of age group and stuff but yeah it's uh yeah gremlins gremlins one i really really love gremlins two i quite enjoy as well it's uh they're just fun passable yeah it's not uh, it's, as far as sequels go it's not the worst no exactly it's uh yeah i my, my pick hands down is gremlins <coughs> uh do you want to go first then or shall i uh go for it tom um my one, I've only actually seen once, and I feel like I'm going to watch it again this year. Um, so, honestly, the Christmas movie I've been most entertained by that kept me gripped was Tokyo Godfathers. Uh -huh. I knew you were going to say that, and I'm so glad you did, because it's such a good it, It's fantastic. It's uh, really heartwarming. I really like it. Do you know, but, th come to uh, think of it, I've only seen it once as well. I, I may give that a rewatch. Um, yeah, it's. I it's never, haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Oh, um, you should you you should definitely watch it this Christmas, Dan. It's. Mm. Have you seen I, any of? Have you seen Paprika, Dan? No. No. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> it's the same person who made it. Yeah. But, so um, for those for those uh, un unaware, so um, Tokyo Godfathers is a anime movie. Um, by director Satoshi Kon, who is really, really, you know, respected in the anime community. Um, Paprika, Perfect Blue, uh, Paranoia Agent, I believe, was his as well. Uh, Millennium Actress, like he, he's you know really good. And yeah, Tokyo Godfathers is just, as you were saying, Tom, just <laughs> a really heartwarming, lovely story. Hmm. I feel we could group watch that. I feel that would be a good call. Hmm. With all of Ridian's viewers, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All of us. I'll live, live stream I'll, I'll stream it live on YouTube. What's the worst <laughs> that can happen? <laughs> <laughs> As the channel is uh deleted forever. Yeah, no, I, honestly, I forgot that even took place in on Christmas for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it um the whole, uh, I feel like it takes a little bit from American movies where 
I swear I've seen a load of them. They talk about because obviously it stars some homeless people, and uh, I feel like that theme is explored a lot in American movies. I think it was Home Alone. I remember something being like that sort of theme. I don't know. It just yeah, it's... it makes you think about those sort of people at Christmas and like how we should you know how they shouldn't really yeah. And for people who don't know, the basis of the plot of Tokyo Godfathers is um, there's these three homeless people. One's like an alcoholic, like middle-aged person. One is like a former drag queen, and then there's like a like teenage girl who like ran away from their family, and they find a baby <laughs> while they're like searching through rubbish, and they just have to deal with it, <laughs> which is a very vague plot, but. Oh, just yeah, such a good yeah th- thoroughly, Lovely. thoroughly recommended. Yeah. I don't know if it's on any streaming platforms, unfortunately, but uh, I mean, I-, I managed to pick up the DVD for a really, really cheap price. Uh, you know, but yeah, no, that well, that's that's really uh, loud of left field there, Tom. Well done. I wasn't expecting that. GG. Okay, so I'll go next. So runner, runner up, Christmas movies, because I this was a really tough one, but okay, so. Nightmare Before Christmas, that's a classic. Uh, Die Hard, that's a classic. Uh, I will say the recent Klaus film, Claws film, that's on Netflix. Fantastic animation. But honestly, for me, uh, my go-to every year with my family is the Muppets Christmas Carol. It's, yeah. it's perfect. It's absolutely nice, yeah. perfect, uh, in my view. Um, and... and uh, what what more can be said? It's it's got the Muppets, it's got Michael Caine, and um, and yeah, it's just it's I it's, for me like there's there's a lot of renditions of Christmas Carol like like I think it's the world record of the most um, films uh, been made uh, of uh, you know that that kind of film, hmm. but um, for me that's. It's just my go-to because all the other ones are kind of either too serious or, like, uh, I didn't like that one with um, Jim Carrey. Uh, there's something off about it. The CGI was kind of like, uh, what's that film that's really aged now? It's The Polar Express. Yeah. Oh, with... oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember I watching, yeah. I think, the first half of A Christmas Carol, the one with Jim Carrey, and... I genuinely felt uncomfortable. It it, it just uncanny Ugh. valley effect, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I remember like when I first watched uh, Polo Express because it came out in the two thousands, and at the time the CGI was kind of like, "Yo, this is this is looking pretty good." And now it's like, "Oh my god, it's it, it's horrible." And the the story isn't really. I yeah, I don't like it, but. Muppets Christmas Carol. It's just really heartwarming, and the uh, you know the Muppet characters uh, just bring it to bring it to life. But they don't really they they don't take themselves too seriously, and that's the whole point about it, yeah. really. You know, and I yeah, I love it. It's definitely the adaptation of Christmas Carol that I think of when I think of a Christmas Carol. Yeah, yeah. I Which... think I think the, the, as well the reason uh, going back to what you said, Dan. The reason. Christmas Carol is the most adapted thing is if you think of it for me at least whenever I'd watch a Christmas special of a cartoon or a TV show it would always be a Christmas Carol mm. they, they'd, oh, well, not, yeah go on they, they'd always like adapt it they're like this character said the world would be better off without them because they forgot to cook lasagna or something and then Another one that's a, that what that really nearly made it to the top was um, "It's a Wonderful Life," um, but I find like you know I like it, but I've it's uh, you know it's it's not the Muppets, but uh, I love the, the the with that film though you could you could actually watch it any time of the year, whereas for for me Muppets is kind of strictly is a Chris full on Christmas uh, movie, so yeah yeah. Okay, and that's uh, that's that. <laughs> well, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank you all for picking almost every single Christmas movie I've ever seen in my whole entire life. 
before oh, I got well. the chance. Dan, Dan <laughs> um, definitely yeah. went through a long list there, fair play. I mean, the ones I was going to pick were um, Night Before Christmas, Gremlins, and um, and possibly even Die Hard. But I'm going to go way left field because um, because you all have taken all the good ones. And I'm going to go for a cheesy as hell one. One of my legit favourite Christmas movies is Dolly Parton's Unlikely Angel. So <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's, um, I... <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. Um Back from the nineties, nineteen ninety six, Dolly Parton plays <laughs> this woman who, you know, her husband's no good and she's had enough, and then she like <laughs> she like dies in a car crash, but then she has to go back to <laughs> as an angel and help this family <laughs> have a nice Christmas. <laughs> Oh, wow, <laughs> which is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous, but it's so like I just I think I just love Dolly Parton, but um, <laughs> it's just it's got so many like cheesy Christmas things done in a kind of tongue-in-cheek way, but kind of serious way. It's just you know there's like some kids, and one of the kids is like, like a angry teenager, and she has to be like, oh come on, be happy. Is it it's like Christmas. a is it like a so bad it's good kind of film? Because I'm looking on the wiki and it was it's a made for television Christmas film. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> it's not critically good in any shape or form. Is but it a, it's one of those things. Is it a musical then, or is it a? No. It's, oh, okay. It's, it's just uh, I think she she does have a couple of tracks in it, obviously. Of course. This dolly, um, but no, it's just a very cheesy Christmas film. I don't know. There's just something very comforting about it. I do you know? The, it strikes me as something that's probably fully uploaded on YouTube somewhere. Probably. <laughs> uh, I know it's on one of the streaming sites. It might be on Prime, I think. But okay, it's worth watching just because it's very feel good. It's cheesy in in the, the right way. Yeah, thanks. I I genuinely may check that out. That sounds weird <laughs> sort of like <laughs> you're not wrong it's definitely weird but um and uh, if you enjoy dolly you'll enjoy it and before we wrap things up as well i would just like to give an honorable shout out to um a tradition i had for about well not 10 years uh, five or six years which was watching uh, a vhs tape i had of the pokemon christmas specials ah yes the, pikachu's the... winter vacation ah. yeah and um Oh, and there was another one as well on there. I can't remember what it was, but yeah, the uh, th- those two, the one with the in a the snowy hut and like Chikorita is there, so it's definitely a Gen two. But yeah, that 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 was a tradition. Uh, unfortunately, that is lost to time now. And good luck being able to track that down because that ain't <laughs> anywhere. Um, you know, but yeah, well. Thank you, everyone, for giving me uh, some suggestions of stuff to watch, and of course the viewers as well. Um, as with last time, if the you know, let us know what your favourite Christmas movies or I suppose specials um, are in the comments below. I may uh, may give some of those a watch as well because I am I'm always curious about what people's traditions are for certain times of the year, uh, and Christmas especially because it's so wide ranging. I mean. Uh, Another film that came to mind was that I've only ever seen once, so I can't remember if I really liked it or just at the time it was Jingle All the Way. So there's it's... Oh yeah. That that one's good. That one's good. Um Yeah, it, it's very uh... time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's super it's super cheesy, but I think that's that's kind of the charm of Christmas. Yeah. In a yeah. in a way. Mm. It's sort of it's because it's been marketed so heavily and so often there has become a bit of a kind of i don't know it, it it's a bit of a cheesy tradition now as opposed to like an earnest one sort of yeah you know but uh right well with that we're all gonna head off now and do something in indescribably festive Absolutely. uh and then all sit down by the fire and uh drink eggnog and listen to bing crosby or something i'm not sure uh right anyway thank you very much for watching uh have a happy christmas everyone 
Uh, both. Happy holidays. Tom, would you like to give a... Yeah. All right. Have a great Christmas. And, uh, <laughs> get easy. There you are, yeah. Tom, Tom will... Uh, you'll nod, Shiva. Tom will Praise nod at you and like, tip his hat to say, yeah, have a good one. As he just walks off. All right, right, well, that wraps up the episode. Thank you very much for uh, joining with us through this Christmas special. There will, of course, be more Draw Toys in the future. Uh, 2021 may have more episodes than 2020. Monkey special. Monkey we, special. We will eventually get round to that goddamn... Special. Those goddamn dirty monkeys. <laughs> uh, right, well, thank you very much for joining me and thank you very much for listening. Uh, and until next time, goodbye.